Okay, we are live. Annie, I'm here. <laughs> I'm just running late. I, you know, there's always interruptions, so uh, noon came too quickly. But here I am. I'm still getting set up. But I got inspired this morning. So I have an idea for a recipe. I'm all bundled up. It's cold. I'm supposed to get down to 18 degrees by this weekend. So, but I'll, I'll get myself together. There you are, Gina. Hey. So, uh, I have some acorn squash. And I just baked them up because... Um, they were, they've been here and Stevens had enough acorn squash for a while. So I said, okay, I'll figure out something to do with them. So I have plans. I've chopped up some onion and garlic and I'm going to mix it up with the acorn squash and bake them in the oven. We'll see. You may, you may be talking to a recipe creator here in the making. So, what's today? January 10th. Ooh, I didn't put that in my description. I'll have to do that. So, it's January 10th, 10 days into the month. And I think we're doing good. If we're, if we're still here, we're still doing good, right, Gina? So, I'm going to start out toasting cumin seeds and mustard seeds, my newfound uh, pleasure with the Indian food. Ooh, only 50. Let's see. What temperature is it here? Let me see. Oh, it's well, it's 40 degrees here, but it wasn't, it was, um, 31 this morning. So, er, um, okay. So I have, I have mustard seeds and fennel seeds and some rosemary that I accidentally threw in here. So I'm going to stick that on the stove top here. And just let those guys toast because they're so good. So I'm, I'm going to, you know, take the acorn squash and mix it in with some, I've got some, uh, some onion, some mushrooms and some kale. And some more spices, you know, the garam masala and the, the cumin, ground cumin and the coriander. I'll mix that in with it too. And I want to get these, the squash into a container. So I can mix it all together and make it into patties. So how'd your meeting go last night, Gina? Ann was looking for me. Here, I better let her know I'm on. Poor kid, she got tired of looking for me. Because I told her I'd be on at noon. <laughs> she probably got doing something else. You snooze, you lose. So I'm just scooping out my, my acorn squash. I know it's good just by itself, but it's getting kind of old. So I thought, well, I'll make it into a patty and see how it is. These are uh, from Trader Joe's. Oh, so Anne's just found me. She should be here any second. Can't see. Hey, Joe, Amy, these are oh, always boring. Oh, that's too bad. You know, life's too short. Meetings, yuck. I haven't heard from Chef AJ this morning, but you know, she's so busy with the interview. She's so busy. I don't know how she is. Ever has time to do anything. <laughs> that girl. She sure got the energy. Mm -hmm. 
So did you see uh, that I talked to Dr. Barashtina? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm fasting too. Um, I, I need to put that into an email, don't I, for anybody that wants to join us. Ugh. Got to remember to do that, Gina. Help me. Help me remember. Gosh, here it is Wednesday, and I meant to do that on Sunday just to give people a week's notice. So I'm going to start my usual Friday night fast all day Saturday until Sunday morning if all goes well. Yes, you know, it sounds like a better deal, but... Of course, I haven't heard back from my doctor, and I usually hear back from her in the morning. But um, maybe she's real busy this morning too, being being a um, a Wednesday. Well, Wednesday morning. Ugh. Maybe she's thinking about it, but she's probably just busy. I, don't, I never could figure out how docs did it because like with me, I was chasing after my patients all the time, making sure they were following through, calling them every day. I was an exceptional clinician. But I'll tell you, you know, I had an acute onset of uh, a back pain yesterday, yesterday, the other day, and I dropped down to my stomach in the pouring rain, in my rain gear, and got to where I could at least get back to the house here. Spent the whole rest of the night on my stomach. And by morning, I was like 90% better. I mean, it, if you can catch it fast, it can be so, such a fast turnaround. And, um, you know, I just modified my workout a couple days ago. And today I had a regular workout, pretty much, and did my, um, my flow yoga. I, I didn't do the yoga for a couple days because, you know, you have to get down on the floor and it's a lot of flexion which is typically the aggravating factor when you're dealing with the low back not always but oftentimes that it's the sitting sitting and uh sitting bending bending sitting bending and rotating and trying to lift that kind of thing okay so See in. I see. <laughs> For my next zoom, yes, I probably will. Yes, Gina, it does take your breath away. I couldn't even take a step forward. But it was something that was it, it's been there and um it was just time for it to go. <laughs> and actually I I think it needed to, because now I just feel so much better. Oh, I'm smelling the spices. Let me get my spatula here. Oh, yeah, they're starting to hop around. <laughs> That's so much fun. I just love that part. Okay. There we go. What do I got? I got it. I got it kind of low. I'm going to put it up just a little bit here. Put these guys singing. Come on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, they're popping. And we add the onion. Yes, I need to go through the book and figure out what to do Monday. And tomorrow I might be on Chef AJ. And I was thinking of doing the twice-baked potatoes um, uh, with AJ. I don't know. Does anybody have any, any um, preferences for what I do? It will be around 2 o'clock tomorrow. It might be recorded first. Might not be live. I told her whatever. You know, anything I can do for a Chef AJ, I'm happy to do. 
I mean, she changed my life. <laughs> I owe her everything. Okay, so now I'm just cooking up the onion. Maybe I'll stick the top on here. If I can find it. What did I do? Oh, it's right here. Gina. Got my trusty, trusty garlic press, uh, mince muncher. Mincer. How did the Chef AJ come about? She wrote, or her crew did, uh, a few weeks ago and said, um, do you want to be back on for the reboot? And I said, yeah. And um, they wrote, and I said, well, I, I just did it last year. And so whoever it was wrote back and said, oh, okay, she'll she'll." She'll probably go for, you know, somebody new. But then Chef A, they forwarded on to Chef AJ. And the poor thing, she just got to it yesterday. And um, so she says, hey, do you still want to be on? Can you be on tomorrow? I said, yeah, sure. She said, how about Thursday? It's actually Thursday. I said, yeah, that's perfect. So I'm going to come on. Probably, you know, tell a little bit about how I got here and how it came to be. And then I want to cook and get everybody all excited to reboot. Yay. I mean, that's what this month's all about. Jennifer. Hey. No, no, I'll be on YouTube tomorrow. The, uh, the reboot doesn't start until... When? When does the reboot start? The 20th? I think the reboot starts in 10 days. So this is just to get everybody all excited, motivated, and saying, come on, let's do it. This is it. This is the year. This is the year you change your life. Forever. Oh, my gosh. It's just the coolest thing. And not only can you change your life, but you can keep it this way because I've been doing this now since 2020 and I just love it. I will, I do not want to go back. I love eating this way. And, you know, if you don't like the way you're eating and it's, you know, you keep straying off, make it more fun. Invest in yourself. That's what I want to say. Because you're worth it. Sounds good, Jennifer. Raw's good. Well, yes, well, <laughs> it's understandable that we want to wait till it gets a little bit warmer, but I love eating raw. But I can't say I'm not enjoying doing what I'm doing. So, look at this, you guys. This is looking good. That is looking mighty fine. All right, I'm going to add some mushroom. I just chopped them up really small. So, I got onions, garlic, mushroom, and toasted fennel and mustard seeds. Oh, wait a minute. Not fennel, cumin. Cumin and mustard seeds. I'm going to put a little bit of hot liquor in here. Chef AJ was just telling Dr. Baxter about hot liquor. Hey, isn't Dr. Baxter, he has really slendered down. He looks great. Quick hello, Jennifer. Go ahead. Come see us after the call. So see, you got any ideas for a specific meal or you want me to decide? I'm taking suggestions. Out of the Indian cookbook. Do you have the Indian cookbook?
Although I was I was looking in Anthony's book today, and he's got so many wonderful recipes too. So, uh, so many recipes. But I got lots of time, so bring them on, bring them on. All right, so I've got the squash. For, oh yeah, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna let this cook for a minute, and then I'm gonna add kale and then I'm going to make patties and then I'm going to bake them in the oven so I think I'll turn on the oven sauteed onion are always so good they are they're tasty they smell good and with the garlic it just makes the kitchen smell wonderful let me just turn on my stove here this morning already I've been baking sweet potatoes for Stephen's pudding and oh I, I uh, went ahead and baked the the um the acorn squash seeds to sprinkle on salad help at every turn so i am just going to start preheating the oven i'm thinking i'm going to put it at 400 because so i want to sort of brown these puppies and a nice nice silicone sheet here. So do you notice that my shelf isn't as crowded, my my toy shelf, because I've moved some of it to the back room. I got it all cleaned up and organized now. So now I love my my room. All right. So I'm just going to add this kale in just for a minute. And then I'm going to mix this in with the acorn squash. And then we'll put some spices in there. I think I'll put the spices in with this and then stick it all in with the squash. What do you think? I don't know if spices need to be cooked or... I suppose not. Maybe I'll just toss them in. This will only take a second for the kale. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to toss them in. So this is just a combination of coriander, garam masala, cumin, thyme, oregano, That's it. What is this? I don't know what that is, so I'm <laughs> taking it out. Okay. All right, so that is pretty good. I'm going to turn the heat off. And then I'm going to add this my acorn squash that I just cooked this morning. Sorry. I didn't get you guys all turned around here. I hope you don't get dizzy with me moving around. Not too dizzy. Maybe a little bit dizzy. That can add to the fun, right? Like you're on a ride. <laughs> you're on a circus ride with Jan. Okay. So, yeah. Actually, I, I think I got to get in there. I'm going to get in there with my bare hands to mix this up. Is Mona here? Hey, Mona. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, I forgot about the heat. We'll just mix this up here. I got this idea from the spaghetti squash patties that I made from Anthony Williams, which is the thing I was looking up today. And I thought, with this leftover acorn squash, why couldn't I make some sort of patty with the acorn squash? 
So here we go. Now the, the spaghetti squash is a little bit more dense, I would say. But I'm going to try it. Why not? And we'll get about, I don't know, six or eight of these. Stick them in for until they brown. They're already warm, so I don't think I'm going to be able to flip these because they're so soft. But you know, Lisa finds that too with her raw stuff. Now the oven's ready, and I'll go ahead and stick these in and get them started. This is what I got so far. So, stick these in the oven. one going here. Am I missing anything? See, I don't see your... Oh, oh yeah, I see. Huh. No. Yeah. No, I just want to make patties just like... They're like little hash browns. Except they're made out of squash instead of potatoes. And um, remember, I was making them with the spaghetti squash. In fact, I got two more spaghetti squashes from, from Costco to make these. But then I noticed Stephen wasn't eating his acorn squash. I said, do you want to eat these squash? He says, no. You know, he does things like we all do. And he just goes crazy on it for a while. And then he's had enough. He didn't want any. I said, no problem. <laughs> I'll come up with something. Oh, thanks, Gina. You're so good to me. Yeah, they do look good, don't they? Hey, Mona, I'm going to see. Did you? I'm going to see if they can get our rooms near each other in Cleveland. You and Jennifer and me and Gina. I will ask them when I call. Have you made your hotel? I think you said you made your hotel reservation. We're going to have a good time. What are you up to? I am making acorn squash plates. Oh, you With the girls. Huh. I got some in the oven already. Oh. Nice. We'll have to put them in the air fryer too. It's crisp. Yeah. Well, that, that's an air fryer, but I don't want to do it too fast. But I could switch it to air fry. So I got a whole another tray here. I'm going to stick in. Well, here, Dan. Okay. There's Anne. Oh, good. Oh, so it wouldn't let you chat before. Oh, Mona. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're going to the NHA. <laughs> hey, Tracy Lynn. 
All right, so for the latecomers, I'll show you what I'm doing here. Well, you're not late covers because I didn't tell you when I was coming on, but these are acorn squash patties. Oh, you can hardly even see them, huh? I don't know why it's so hard to see in there. Can you see them? And then these are butterscotch pudding potatoes that I made for Stephen earlier today. And... Ta-da! You know, within 20 minutes, I've got lunch in the oven. Yeah, Mona, it's okay. If you can't do it, can't do it. Oh, Brooke Goldner's live. Why, oh, she's a trooper. So, what should we do for next Monday? Yes, butterscotch pudding. Yes, Anne. Two bananas, three cups of butter, uh, um, orange peeled, baked lambs, uh, yams, sweet potatoes, um, pumpkin pie spice, and vanilla. Yum, yum, yum. He loves it. He eats it every day. So I've noticed I got this rash going on my nose and partway out my chin, just on one side. <laughs> of course you do, Ann. You probably got secret to ultimate weight loss. <laughs> oh, some vanilla almond. And then the little heart thing is in my way. I can't see vanilla almond what? To make banana pudding out of a forks over knives app. Mm -hmm. Vanilla almond milk, maybe? Somebody has to write something so it bumps your message up so I can read it. Ah, milk. Mmm. Vanilla almond milk. I did never even heard of it. And it's is it without any sugar? It's just got vanilla in it. Where'd you get it? Is it a Savannah, Georgia thing? <laughs> Unsweetened. All right. Ooh, let us know. Amy Broccoli Mom, she she makes her, her uh, pudding in the morning with a potato. We got it at Kroger's. Oh, okay. Vanilla almond milk. Maybe because I never go there anymore because I make all our milk. That's probably what what my problem is. Hmm. So let me just rinse things off here while I'm waiting. I've got, I'm thinking for AJ tomorrow, I'm going to do twice baked potatoes. So I'm not excited, am I? I'm already soaking my potatoes to get them ready. <laughs> and then I'll Cook them in the morning, get them, get them scooped out, and get all the ingredients ready. And be ready to roll when we go on, if, if it works out. You know, things are always changing in this biz. <laughs> so update on my sister. She's going to go ahead with the radiation five days a week. Oh, the recipes to discover yet. That is so... You don't have to soak the potatoes, Gina, but I just do just to get them clean because I got them, you know, they, they, they got dirt. They're dirty. So... I'm putting my best foot forward, Gina. <laughs> oh, Mona. Yeah. Chip AJ got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to go on tomorrow at 2 with her for the re you know to to talk about the reboot and how it how it's affected my life yes very excited to be with chef aj again she's the best i'll tell you that that girl she just makes you feel so comfortable in an interview i love it very talented woman
<laughs> All right, Mona. She says it'll either be live or um, recorded. What you need? Oh, okay. you got to come in this way, don't you? Steven's got a snack. So he's doing the corn tortillas. I'll show you here. Show him what you do, honey. See, he gets them all wet. They've been in the refrigerator, so they're here. they're cold. Yeah, see, those are little corn tortillas I made them. And they're kind of tough if they're just eaten like this. So I put them in the microwave, with wet it down with water, and then they get nice and chewy. Yeah, he'll show you. He'll show the uh, the result. <laughs> He just microwaves them for a few seconds, 30 seconds. So those um, squashes didn't take me any time at all. Did you see that one? No, I'm cooking them. Oh, you want to make it? To make Hopefully they'll be just... The oven's steaming up a storm here. Let's go look at it. Oh, yeah. Show them, Stephen. Oh, yeah. They're steaming hot. No. Up. Oh. The camera's right up here. Yeah, but they can see it. Right there. See? Steam. They're nice and soft now. He's burning his fingers off trying to show you guys. <laughs> Tortillas must be eaten, warmed, and softened, Gina says. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, okay. I turned this the wrong way. I'm sorry. See, I've got, I'm wired, so I have to be careful which way I go. And no matter what I do, I always run over the wire. And we'll see. I'm running it over. No matter what I do. Here we go. Okay. They're steaming hot. Hmm. I think I'm going to turn them down a little bit and let them cook longer. They're looking pretty good, though. Another thing I could do is I could mix them with potatoes, huh? And that may give may give them a little bit more uh, substance. Yes, Gina, she did have a, but she said she really liked the oncologist, uh, the radiologist, and um, <clears throat> he assured her that, you know, her chances for for heart failure were very, very, very slim. And um, they're just, because there was so much cancer in there, they're just concerned that if they don't do something, it'll come back. And, you know, she's just learning about all this plant-based stuff and and uh, <laughs> she don't want to die. <laughs> so what can you do? You know, when the experts, their expert opinion is you should do this. So, <sighs> You just got to do what you got to do. Thought or will you all? What, Mona? <laughs> what? Thought or? Hmm. So. My thoughts are with you all. Okay, got it. Got it, Mona. It's hard typing in that darn chat, especially if you're on the phone. No. Oh. Gina, did you see Broccoli Mom post it again? I love it when she puts something new up. And I wrote her and she wrote me back. Which is pretty cool. Because 
she gets a lot of emails. I mean, she's getting a lot of, I don't know how she keeps up with her two little ones that are so adorable. <laughs> Dishes are endless. <laughs> oh, I got to collect up my uh, acorn squash skins. Yeah, good thing I wasn't going to stuff the skins again, Gina. Wonder where Jessie is. She was around this morning with Dr. Baxter. Doesn't Dr. Baxter look different? I mean, he's so skinny now. He's following his own his own advice. <laughs> and he looks great. Good man. And he's he's raw, but boy, they have everything there at the hospital. I love him too. So cool. And he's getting such great results with everything he's doing. It makes sense that um, you get even better results if you eat raw. And I would definitely consider that if they diagnosed me with leukemia, which she's a little concerned about. But Dr. Burris says, well, instead of jumping to leukemia, blood disease, why not just start with um, with low low iron? She said she's busy yet needs a side project. So now she's going to start making a bunch of nice cream. I know. Well, she did talk about doing a, a Ninja Creamy cookbook before she even got one. So she does have a sweet tooth, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm just addicted to food. To me, it doesn't matter if it's sweet or savory. Yeah, Dr. Baxter's been around for a while. And uh, he's just he's just going great guns. And it's great that there's so much research going on. So we're fasting this weekend for anybody that wants to fast. And I'll send an email out. Um, I just need to sit down long enough at the computer to do it. Um, but yeah, we're going to, I'm going to go Friday night, all day Saturday to Sunday morning. And I think Jennifer is going to try to fast just as long as she can. You love it because you have a sweet tooth and love chocolate. I love to. I love watching what she makes and eats. I just love the way she takes a big old spoonful and stuffs it in her mouth. <laughs> uh, she's a girl after my own heart, I'll tell you. If she did a another potato reset, I'd do it with her. But I think we might have to do it on our own. She doesn't seem inclined to do one. But um, I'd love to try her seven-day potato reset before I go raw again. If you wanted to fast, what do you do? Well, you have to have complete rest. So you have to clear your schedule and expect to just be kind to yourself. And then you just set a goal of whatever you want to do, like, Gina, are you going to do 24 hours or for some reason, Stephen and I just sort of folded into um, a 36 hour fast, which is after dinner Friday night until 36 hours later, Sunday morning. And it, there's a range, you know, like, and then you drink water and you can have it warmed you can have it cold or you can have it room temperature and you just sip on your water four to six glasses a day, eight to 12 ounce glasses. Um, and you just really take it easy because if you try to do too much, your body will start feeding on itself to give you energy. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep very, very quiet. Um, you want to have an, you know, a doctor's okay. Gina, that sounds good. 24, but 
try 36. A lot of times uh, Jesse does 48 hours. Jennifer has done, I think, 50 some hours. But we all just start together or in the same, you know, either Friday night after dinner or, well, actually, we all try to start Friday night after dinner. Um, if we accidentally eat an apple the next morning, we might then start right after we do that. Um, you know, I cover up all my fruit because it, it's it's such an automatic, you just grab it and it's in your mouth before you realize it. So to uh, a couple days before we start, it um, just like True, True North asks that you just do fruits and vegetables just to sort to get your body ready for the fast. And um, so, so fruits and vegetables, just really, you know, gentle things for your, your tummy. And then what the same with the dinner, but just, just whatever you do for dinner, but then that marks, okay, that's it. Now, from now on, we start and it can start anywhere from, you know, seven o'clock to, to nine o'clock at night. And then the next time you would eat would be between seven and nine Sunday morning. If you want to go the whole 36. You can do, could do just an eight hour fast or a 12 hour, you know, you can do whatever you want. It's just, it's just interesting because you know, you start to feel hungry and you go to reach for something. And you think, no, I'm, I'm not eating. And it really, it makes you stop and think about what you're doing. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. Ooh, look at this. Mm. Look at those. <laughs> Jeez. Ooh, they got nice and brown. All right, so let us see here if they come off the... off of the sheet here. By golly, they do. They're soft. I think I'll cook them a little bit longer, but looking pretty good. I don't want to flip them for sure. So I'm going to put them in for a little bit longer. This must be what it's like to test. Let's see what the flavor's like. Ooh, that's pretty darn good. Mmm. Tracy Lynn, that is good to know about yourself. If you're too busy, then don't do not do it. We do it every month, usually, for some reason. Yeah, you do 16 hours, and but you're asleep. So if you, if you did it for eight hours while you're awake, you know, like during when you would usually have breakfast or lunch or whatever, that's when you really have to pay attention to what you're doing. Mona, it's another shelf. So if you as you can see from here, I have some grains up there, some you know big bottles of stuff, and I've got some cookbooks back there. Yes, Gina. It is. It's a different experience when you don't have to cook or, or prepare anything or clean anything or garden or anything. It's it's actually really nice. It's good. <laughs> 
It is hot. I mean, I just pulled it out of the oven. I mean, hot, spicy. Hmm. I didn't think about putting jalapeno in there. I should have. Darn. You know, and it's just squash. Squash, kale, onion, mushroom. Mm -hmm. And the spices are really nice in it. You just can't go wrong with those Indian spices. It's going to change the way I do everything. <laughs> mm. I want to learn how to use more of them. You know, the hang and the I'm sure, the curry leaves. I see Sapna offering some cooking classes. Sapna, she's the one that did the aloo gobi and um, bakes the, the cauliflower and potato in the oven. Roasts them. Do I have an asbestos mouth like Dylan? I guess so. I definitely don't have the sensitivity to heat like some people do. You know, like Stephen, he won't be able to pick something up because it's too warm. And I just pick it up. Say here. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Just getting them a little bit toastier. But if I cook them too long, this this is really good. And Gina. Yes, with my soybean yogurt, I need to do it in the order that regular people do it, I think, for the, for the yogurt. And that means, um, I think, beating up the beans first and then cooking them. Oh, Tracy Lynn, you've got a curry leaf tree. That's where I got my curry leaves. I got them in Perth. Somebody picked him off their tree and gave him to me. <laughs> and I brought him home. And I froze him. Because I wanted him to be able to last till I could learn how to do it. No, I wasn't a pharmacist. I was a physical therapist, Mona. I specialized in joints. Healing joint pain. Well, the spice curry, Gina, is actually a mix of, of uh, spices. The leaf has a wonderful pungent smell. Oh, yes. Roasted cherry tomatoes are so good. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, in fact, I, I don't think drugs are, are useful. Drugs, you know, to me, they just mask people's symptoms and delay their healing because they, they think they feel better. And so they go out and do too much. And my whole thing, when you're, when you're hurting, you need to give your body a chance to, to heal. Oh, great, Tracy Lynn. <laughs> I know the smell of them was great when I was packing them in my suitcase. <laughs> oh, Mona, that's so wonderful. This, this program is just a lifesaver. Every time a <clears throat> doctor wants to give me a drug, I'm like, you know, no, it doesn't make sense. I just don't pick it up. Stephen, too, you know, he had surgery for the um, bone graft for his implant. And they order all these drugs, and he didn't pick up any of them. He didn't do the antibiotic, nothing. He says, if I get an infection, I'll take an antibiotic, but I'm not taking it. Because, uh, you know, he eats a whole food plant exclusive diet.
So I better keep my eye on these. They're getting they're getting pretty toasty. Sorry, it's so hard for you all to see. But I think I'm gonna keep them going. But I need to I need to keep a watch on them. Need to, I need to uh, keep checking for. Okay. All right. Need to keep checking for AJ. <laughs> Where'd you go, Mona? So, if I'm on at 2 tomorrow and it's pre-recorded, I might, I might not be on here because that'll be my once-a-day thing because I, 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 there are other things that I probably should do. <laughs> um, so, tomorrow is Thursday, so then Friday, yeah, and then I'll be on every day on the weekend. Oh, you passed a stone last night. Wow, Mona, no meds. Was, did it hurt? Definitely curry like cool. If you can eat raw and add to salad. Oh. Yeah. Interesting, Tracy Lynn. Hey, Jennifer. <laughs> wow, Mona. That's amazing. So it was painful too. Because they are pretty painful. I've had a kidney stone before. And um, I was a kid, you know, I was like, six, well, I guess I was 19 or 20. Was I married? Oh, my, my first marriage was so stressful. Uh. <laughs> and I was just doubled over with this pain. And I went to a physician that wasn't mine because mine was out of town. And he told me it was all in my head. <laughs> I passed blood to everything. It's just ridiculous. Medicine in those days was even worse than it is now. Uh, my Jennifer. All right. So, Jennifer, I cooked the patties for 20 minutes, and then I stuck them back in just to brown them up some more for another 15. And uh, looks like they're browning up really nicely here. And I'm wondering if I should give them more time or if I should pull them at 10 minutes. So I think I might just check them. Let's see here. Yeah, I keep them going. I think they're going to be, you know, somewhat sauce, somewhat, somewhat soft. Yes. Oh, so you're going to start Thursday after dinner? Okay. <laughs> And you, you went to a Whole Foods. First when I went to the ER, they did nothing. So this time I just stayed home. Yeah, there's nothing they can do. Good point, Mona. <laughs> yes, and what'd you get at Whole Foods? Yeah. That's so typical, isn't it, Mona? Either they don't do anything or, or they give you drugs to make you out of your head so that you don't care that it's going on, but there nothing is, is as powerful as the body. The body does the work. We just need to give it the environment it needs to get to be successful in what it's doing. Big rainbow salad with kale and power greens and some northern beans. Sounds good, Jennifer. I'm sure enjoying our uh, Tadka uh, doll. And I started cooking at six with you on Monday and was up until midnight. Oh my gosh, Ann, still cooking? What were you making? <laughs> Thank you for the big hug, Jennifer. Will you come with me when I have to go in for my ultrasound? <laughs> 
Ah, you'll have that Indian for dinner. Yeah, I that's when I have it too. <laughs> Well, I don't mind. You know, I spent 30 years around a hospital. So actually, Stephen and I were in Texas and we got a case of the, when the bugs get underneath your skin because we, we slept in a bed that was contaminated. Uh, not jiggers, but anyways, we, we needed to get something. And um, we were at this ER and I could not go with scabies. Exactly. Thanks, Mona. And um, so I couldn't go in. But I could go into an urgent care. But, you know, I know the downward spiral of going into a hospital and it costs a fortune and they put you through all these tests and you wait for hours and hours and hours. And I just I just couldn't do it. But the urgent care was great. We just got this stuff to put on our our skin and it it took care of it. And, uh, you know, that's the only thing about uh, the warm showers. We stayed at this one place and the papa had passed away, I think a year or two ago. And the mama was still in so much grief. I don't know why she told us to come. But uh, she, she and her son both were, were still grieving. And um, it, it, it was so sad. And we, when we saw where we were supposed to sleep, we pulled the, the covers off and slept on the ground, but it still apparently must have been in the covers too. <laughs> so not the ground, but the floor. But these things happen. There's a lot of heartbreak. Yeah, it's really so hard to, to lose someone. What's the steam behind me doing? Oh, okay. It's coming from here. I get so confused. Is it now here? It looks like it's on my left, right? Oops. But that's, it's my right. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm going to pull them in a couple minutes here. I guess we're not going to hear what came, what what you got at Whole Foods and what you were cooking. Were you cooking the same thing, Ann? Jir rice and and uh, or were you cooking your own thing? And the Tatka doll. As soon as I get off today, I'm going to look for for what I'm going to do on Monday. But first, I need to write an email about the fasting, and then I need to send out a Zoom invitation for Monday. Make lots of sweet potatoes for us and mother-in-law. Ratatouille, fresh beets, beet greens, mushroom gravy, lentil soup, and kabocha squash. Then we left for Detroit at, and the time is hidden by the heart. That's awesome, Anne. <laughs> That's great, you know. Yeah, use the time when we're all on to batch cook. And then you'll have everything done, but you'll have company while you're doing it. <laughs> that rot ratatouille is so good. I should make some more of that. Hey, I got some, um, it's the root, it's the go-go root, um, uh, burdock root. Has anybody cooked with that? I know it was in one of the recipes from, from um, Anthony Williams. So it was in the Asian store and I thought, oh, I'm going to get some. I got to find that recipe. Less than a minute. Yahoo, Yahoo. I think I'm going to pull them out now. Put this one down. Put this down below. Actually, that needs washing. Look at that. That looks pretty darn good. That looks like good enough to eat. This one's not as brown. So I'm going to leave that in for a second more. 
There it is. Those those look pretty darn good. And they're, you know, they're more solid now. I don't need to taste it again, but but I will. Mm -hmm. Here it is. Mm. Mm. I really like those. So you can do acorn squash. You could do butternut squash. You can do spaghetti squash. They're really good. And just put in the, the spices that you love. I made a recipe. <laughs> I'm a recipe creator. But, you know, I guess I just took somebody else's recipe and made it my own. Oh, at Whole Foods, and you got kale, millet, dill, green onions, pomegranate seeds. My first ever more, and finally, oh, good. The corn tortilla chips that Chef AJ is always talking about. Ah. You know, but half the fun of eating a pomegranate is take getting the seeds out of the pomegranate. <laughs> yeah, me too, Jennifer. But this one, I really, you know, like even the main ingredient, I used something different. So it was kind of different for me. Mona, I just baked up a package of those tortillas yesterday and put in a bag. Have you tried them yet? <laughs> I love pomegranates too. We, we have them for dinner after, you know, we split a pomegranate. Oh, it's so good. It's so much fun to eat. I just love eating this way. Heading out. Okay, Jennifer. I got to head off too. I got so much to do, you guys. But thank you so much for coming today. And tomorrow at 2, if I'm not, if we're not on live, if you don't see us, then it's going to be a replay. But um, it'll be up on YouTube probably after, right after we do it. So it'll still be on tomorrow, but not quite at 2. All right. You bet. Take care, everybody.